So for some reason, it's taken a while for my um, unboxing video to uh, to go online. But let's uh, let's look at it a bit because I will. <clears throat> it is my early birthday gift, and this is my birthday gift. So <clears throat> Aaron is going to start watching this very very soon. <clears throat> and that is my Dark Shadows: A Complete Series. If this doesn't make you want to get it. I don't know what. Uh, it's uh, pretty cool, and I gotta give a shout out right now to a actually a recent subscriber who actually told me that they're not really into horror, but they like my uh, they, they like my videos, and that's probably the uh, the one of the best compliments I've ever gotten. So uh, I gotta say, uh, blew me away, and uh, that is from I gotta make sure I get the name right there. The Horton Fam Adventures, <clears throat> and they, uh, I think they do a lot of, the, they're going to be doing a lot of the, uh, kind of a lot, the more of the family stuff, you know I do the uh, Disney stuff and I like that too, and uh, definitely uh, check these guys out, it's Horton Fam Adventures all together, and Horton's, you know, the way it we spelled, just like in uh, the, uh, the soap opera, Days of Lives, yeah, obviously I'm a soap opera fan, I've got Dark Shadows in my hands, uh, Dark Shadows was a series that ran, from, hmm, I'm not going to take any chances, I'm going to take this massive booklet that talks about it. Neat, huh? I'll look at this book a little bit now, actually. The series Dark Shadows ran from June 27th, 1966, and it ended April 2nd, 1971. So Dark Shadows actually ended three days after I was born. <clears throat> so needless to say, when I watched this, I was watching it in uh, in reruns. But uh, my dad and my mom weren't. They were actually, uh, I think they were fans of the show. It was really different from back in the day. Imagine if uh, the series Passions that came out in the uh, 2000s. Imagine that, except with good actors and uh, actual storylines that made sense. Uh, then you have Dark Shadows. <clears throat> Dark Shadows started out as a uh, gothic uh, soap opera, kind of a different type of show. It had ghosts and stuff in it, but it wasn't like too far over the edge. Uh, it was still a uh, soap operatic. It had more mystery, murderous storylines, uh, <clears throat> and it had kind of like an evil ghost character that uh, that was in there, you know, alluded to witchcraft and stuff like that. But it didn't really go into that. It wasn't until episode I think it was two or five, two or four, two or five. When, uh, it's pretty friendly. Dark Shadows was basically, it was on the verge of getting cancelled. <clears throat> and Dan Curtis, who made it, and also the guy that made Kolchak, the Night Stalker, um, among other shows, uh, he was, uh, he pretty much thought, okay, there's this character that I kind of want to put in it. I wasn't going to do it, <clears throat> but, uh, I got nothing to lose. <clears throat> and so, in 2000 and, uh, Nine episode two thousand nine. Willie Loomis goes to uh, the mausoleum, and here's a heartbeat coming from the uh, from the tomb. Uh, Willie is a character that's pretty much like a one of those near duel characters, kind of a, wants to be rich, doesn't want to work type of uh, guys, and uh, he finds out about a uh, a treasure that's in the um, in the mausoleum. Unfortunately, when he opens up the treasure, he's met with the uh, vampire Barnabas Collins, who has been uh, chained there <clears throat> for years by his father. And, uh, you know, Barnabas is back. Uh, of course, it's been hundreds of years since Barnabas has been around, and uh, he looks exactly the same. So when he comes to the uh, Collinswood mansion, he uh, pretty much he says that he's a relative of uh, the original Barnabas Collins from uh, England. And uh, nobody notices the fact that he looks exactly like Barnabas. Well, they notice that he looks exactly like Barnabas, but the fact that he's dressed exactly like Barnabas from the uh, from the picture in it should have been kind of a slight give up. But I guess nobody's going to think that's going to be a vampire. And we're not talking about a vampire like a sparkly vampire. This is a full blown kills people, sucks blood type vampire. Now uh, Barnabas wasn't originally going to be in the story for like a long-term thing. 
but he quickly became uh, kind of like a heartthrob and uh, somebody that the viewers would come, turn in to see. It became pretty obvious that without this character here, they were going to go back to being uh, not so, uh, well, let's just say they would have to uh, let the show go. <clears throat> So Barnabas was made into more of a uh, a sympathetic vampire, still vicious, uh, still a, a baddie, but uh, uh, we get, it gets into the curse of Barnabas and how he became the vampire. We actually start to do a time travel storyline uh, where the, uh, I think it's Victoria or Maggie, I can't remember which one now, I think it's Victoria, ends up back in time and finds out that uh, who Barnabas is. Uh, before he became a vampire and uh, how he became a vampire that's why when we were introduced with the, to the character of the witch Angelique and anybody that's seen the 90's revival series is probably familiar with uh, a lot of this stuff and uh, anybody that's seen the uh, Tim Burton uh, movie uh, I, and haven't seen the episodes I really feel I, f I feel bad for you because uh, the Tim Burton movie was kind of a little fun comedy movie but uh, it nowhere touched the uh quality of the acting or uh, just the writing that uh, would be in the Dark Shadows series. Uh, not even not even close. <clears throat> so if you go in to Dark Shadows thinking you're going to get the Tim Burton Cheese Fest, you're not going to get that. Uh, this ran for over 1,200 episodes. 1,225 to be exact. And uh, <clears throat> after Barnabas, they decided they were going to go for it. They were going to make this a full-fledged horror soap opera, the first and only <clears throat> of its type. Uh, we got Barnabas as the uh, main vampire. We will be introduced to more vampires along the way. We will meet witches. We will meet Quentin Collins, uh, cursed as a werewolf <clears throat> in the series. <clears throat> we will have. Uh, we'll meet Trask, who, who is human, but he'll be more dangerous than any of them. Because he's the, uh, he's kind of like the witch hunter, vampire hunter type character that uh, is, it's kind of evil. Imagine like if Van Helsing is like really freaking evil. Look kind of like, kind of like that. Uh, we'll go back in time. We'll follow these characters. From certain characters will die. They'll come back as ghosts. Do you'll see them as their descendants? They'll come back as their, uh, as their relatives. They go from being good to being evil, and uh, we're gonna. It's a real ride. Uh, one of the greatest rides that TV will ever give you, and uh, they spent a lot of time, and uh, on very on very little money to uh, to make this show. They did it every day, and of course, you know, there's some cheesy stuff that happens when you're doing a show like that. But, uh, nothing like this would ever happen again. The closest they came to it was trying to do a show like Passions, but the Passions didn't really have the horror or the, uh, pedigree of uh, people uh, working on it. Uh, this is Dan Curtis. Uh, Dan Curtis is the guy that brought you Trilogy of Terror. Uh, Dan Curtis is the guy that uh, gave you gave you the uh, Night Stalker series. He's the guy that gave you Night Strangler, the uh, the movie, and Night Stalker, the movie. He's the guy that did the uh, TV versions of uh, of Dracula and with Jack Palance and uh, uh, Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. He was pretty much your connection for horror uh, on TV. Uh, the Norless Tapes, uh, a pilot that was done that uh, should have been followed up on, but sadly didn't. It uh, was really, really kind of cool. And if you ever get a chance to to see the Norris tapes, uh, I definitely recommend checking it out. But uh, this set on the low scale will run you about three hundred. About three hundred, I say. Yeah, we'll say about three hundred. And I'm not sure if that's without. It's more if you can't you get it from the states to Canada because it's an extra fifty or fifty and a hundred of export fees. Oh, okay, so if you get it from the States to Canada, or if you're from Canada to the States, whatever, there's export fees, and that's going to run you at least another 50 to to $100. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> the set is everything. Uh, 
it doesn't have the two uh, like theater movies. Those came out on their own on Blu-ray, and uh, you know I'll pick those up down the road. But this is the complete complete series. Uh, amazing. The, if you're a horror fan, uh, or even just a fan of, like good quality, like acting and drama in this case, uh, this is one that uh, even some of my non-horror people can actually get a kick out of uh, because. It's more than a horror show. Uh, there's a depth to this that I really can't uh, describe. And as far as sets go, it's probably the most impressive thing that I've ever seen in my, in my life. You can put in all the snow globes and pins and whatever you want to. Uh, nothing uh, is going to touch this, uh, just the way this was done. It's amazing that somebody took an actual thing. That, well, this lasted five years. So it was actually a horror supernatural gothic soap opera that lasted every day for five years on TV and they managed to get it all together and uh, put it out. Uh, it's a great testament to what can be done uh, with some of this stuff. And uh, back in my day there were shows like this, there were like soap opera shows that were actually went beyond what you'd see in a soap opera today and actually did some cool stuff. There was a show called Edge of Night which was basically a murder series uh, and done on a daily basis. It, you know, after a while you're like how the hell is anybody left alive in this town? It's killer after killer after killer. But that's the way that it was done. And uh, the show went off the air years ago. But uh, I think in about 84. I'd have to check. But it's in the, the mid-80s anyway. And it went, but it lasted a long, long time. This uh, The Dark Shadows set lets you know that it is possible if the ma the tapes are out there to like for someone that's dedicated enough to put the work into it and to do something this massive and this epic and uh i got a lot of shows from power rangers to gi joe to from the monsters to firescape which is my better half sh uh, favorite show uh to complete stargate to charlie's angels and married with children but uh the all pale in a uh, comparison to a uh to this and uh i'm gonna go probably now and like watch a little bit of this after i grab my uh, drink so amazing. I mean, like a ultimate Halloween set, guys. If you can get your hands on it, the ultimate Halloween set. Uh, amazing series. Amazing actors. Completely blown away. This book here, by the way, just I'm not sure how many pages this thing is, but it runs on forever and has some great, great pictures. Uh, and just to show you the quality of the stuff in here, this is one of the. Uh, Think of like if Universal said, "Hey, let's have a horror series going on a daily basis." Uh, this you'd get this type of stuff. Uh, it was just epic. This is a, a classic Barnabas photo. And just to show you, there was a scene where Barnabas goes for a. Uh, let's see, there's a storyline where Barnabas tries to uh, cure himself with, uh, with the blood injections from uh, Dr. Julia Hoffman. Unfortunately. It makes the mistake of uh, making him old rapidly and quickly. And if you want to know if this is a series that you want to get, you should probably pick up the two Dark Shadows movies that came out and uh, check them out, especially the one with uh, Freed. It's very bloody and it's uh, very, very brutal. And it'll give you a good idea of what the Dark Shadows series and franchise is all about. This is a. Uh, me signing out because I'm going to grab some tea and I'm going to watch some special features. I uh, hope you guys are liking these videos. There's going to be a few videos on this uh, on this set. And uh, to my newcomers that I just started subscribing, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And anytime somebody comes in and to get that uh, great uh, endorsement from uh, Horton Fan Ventures was really, really, uh, was, was awesome. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Uh, subscribe to their channel look at the guys that have subscribed to me definitely subscribe to their channels because I have some awesome subscribers here that I I try to give props to as much as possible uh, thanks a lot for watching hope this here light in the background hasn't been too annoying and uh, if you got the money and the time check the Dark Shadows complete original series it's really worth it it's uh, time for tea